Well, if you've been stuck in traffic lately around Shelton, you may have noticed some new wraps around some of the traffic boxes in town. It's the second set of three installed by the city of Shelton with the help of the Martha Reed Foundation. Jordan Crumples from the city explains how they get the art. We send out a call to artists. We do it for a couple weeks, get all of our submittals in. Um, the Arts Commission then goes and juries the artwork, make sure everything's approved. Then they get sent to city of the council. They get final approval and then they go to public vote. So we send it out through social media and we ask people to usually pick up their top three. Um, and then those final three artists at the end will get sent off to, uh, we do, Bullander Science has done these wraps and our previous wraps. And so we send them to them and then the installation can take a couple weeks. The art this time is by Kyle Twitty, Untitled, and that's at the intersection of North 7th and Alder. Matt Mish did Bridges to Nowhere, that's Wallace Neeland and Shelton Springs. And Crystal Rodriguez did 98584, that's at Wallace Neeland and Bell Lane. The city gets some help by the Martha Reed Foundation. Yeah, so they have, they helped us with our first installation. They've donated some money to get these wraps done, and then they did it again for this round. So, and then we, you know, we shout out to them when we do our press releases and stuff. So they've been a great help. Martha Reed's Mark Frazier talks about why the group gets involved with this program. Uh, we sort of fell in love with, we saw in Olympia, City of Olympia did a lot of their boxes, and it was, it stood out. It really, it was really noticeable when we it came up in conversations and we'd seen some of the new boxes with the new construction stuff going in town and said, why not? Why not get involved? Why not give back? Our community supports us so openly and so willingly that I thought, we thought as a group that the beautification projects, the lasting, you know, lasting memory, a lasting gift for Martha and the Martha Reed Foundation. What about the rest of the boxes around town? So the first three are going to currently stay in. Unless something bad happens to them, vandalism of some kind or someone runs into it, then we'll replace it. But other than that, we want to try to get all of them up before we go and redo, redo them later on. And what's on store for the Martha Reed Foundation? Oh, we're back. Man, we got all kinds of good stuff going on. Uh, we'll see us uh, at the second half of Force Festival. We're bringing Rock in the Force back. So we'll have some music. Um, site to be determined, but we might have a big surprise that we'll announce soon enough. Uh, we're looking at bringing our chowder competition back in November when the weather gets a little more chowder friendly. And uh, we're fully committed for the good old-fashioned chili cook-off, which is kind of our bread and butter. And that'll be in 22, kind of our normal time. See all the boxes as you drive around Shelton. Dry Fiber 1 KMAS, I'm Jeff Slakey.